fluctuations. But the statement I raised in March was floated by the committee. This is what happens when we treat these cabinet secretaries with kid gloves. The person who you are summoning takes a chopper, goes to his county, and doesn't care. I can tell you for free, it is possible that these cabinet secretaries have put their legs on their seats and they're watching us on TV because we look like we're in a Mexican soap opera. Senator Kindiki is right. They know we can't do anything. And this started the day we were supposed to censure our cabinet secretary and we walked out of this chamber. We left. Because for that particular time, it was politically correct. Now, it is affecting the people who elected you. And some of these cabinet secretaries think that by becoming so big and big heads, they're, go they're going to be elected governors. Some want to be presidents. Of which country? Which country are you talking about? It's unfortunate that the persons who are supposed to check government are grieving with the people who are now who are supposed to be in government. The public is confused, members of the Senate. When the police barricaded Parliament Road and we were discussing a contentious matter here, we adjourned and the speaker ordered them to leave. And they left. The speaker orders cabinet secretaries to come here, and they don't come. It is possible that some of them even call the office. I am aware that we, when we raise the questions about the judges, a very senior official even called the office to, to ask us why we were raising the question on the judges, the question that I raised on the appointment of judges. It's unfortunate. We must accept the blame. If the and if my good friend, Senator Kipchumba Murkomen, took the fight of 2015, where we drafted a law to change some of this framework in the Constitution, we would have made some progress. But politics has changed, and everybody is not talking about the right thing. We are talking about our political side, whichever side it is.